All right, Doc Positive here at the Paws Veterinary Clinic. We're here with Petey, and Petey's a kitty cat who uh, had a urinary tract obstruction. And he was in the other day. We actually relieved the obstruction, you know, uh, got him unblocked and uh, urinating on his own. The problem being, because he was obstructed, uh, the bladder wall is muscular. And so those muscles need to contract in order to help the bladder to empty. And because his bladder was full for so long, he's actually got what's called an atonic bladder. A-T-O-N-I-C. Bladder atony. Uh, or bladder atony. And so... Even though the blockage has been relieved, he is unable to express his bladder on his own. We've had him come in daily for the last three days to manually express his bladder, you know, actually press on it, get him to empty. He's gotten real tired of that, so what we did today is we anesthetized him. He's under a light anesthetic, and we actually took a Tomcat catheter, about three and a half uh, French and we actually sewed it in place uh, he had not been neutered so while he was asleep we went ahead and neutered him he's a little swollen back here because he's irritated from uh, not being able to urinate normally but what you can see here is that is the color of his urine is coming out very very bloody urine on this white towel so optimistically, with the catheter sewn in place, that will keep his bladder empty, that will allow the bladder wall muscles to recover. He is on a broad spectrum antibiotic, he's on a steroid to relieve the inflammation of the wall of his bladder, and he's on a drug called bethanicol. And bethanicol is a drug to uh, strengthen the bladder contractions. So we're uh, cautiously optimistic that Petey, being a young cat, treated appropriately, will regain the muscular control of his bladder, be able to empty his bladder on his own. But he will be stuck with a urinary catheter for a couple of days to uh, allow his bladder muscles to rest and recover. More to follow. Bye now.